How's it going today, folks? Welcome back to Fun Labs Design Studio. We got a little bit of a cold here, sinus cold. I don't know what's going on, but summertime, who knows? Allergies, sinus cold, whatever. But so just bear with me. I'm still pressing on for you. This is the third installment to the other two here. How to vector outline your character designs in Krita and using separated vector layers in Krita for character animation. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, go click them. They should populate up here in the right hand side. Go click on there and watch those two videos first so you get kind of where we are at. And then let's get started. So now that you have Krita open, select all those by holding, clicking the first one, holding down shift, go down to the bottom one, and there you go, you'll have them all selected. Then what you'll do is you'll create, go add a group layer. These, this one won't be here for you. It'll just be your separated layers. Add a group layer, then dragging them into it, and boom. Bada boom, bada bing, it'll be done. Or else create the group layer first and then do that. So I think you get the hang of it and adjust of it. Now they're in a group layer separated, right? Um, Clappy isn't like that. People commented that he looked like a Pokemon character. Thank you, that's really cool. That's kind of after my generation. That was in the later 90s, I believe, or 90s when the first series came out. So, But that's cool. No, he's just a little figure I kind of made. I don't know, just goofing around. I start, I always start with um, a sketch, a skeletal sketch, and I'm going to bone rake him for the short animation that involves these two. Uh, characters later you'll see probably more of that obviously on the channel I'm sure but for now he's just he's just there you can only select him and move him like so because I did it separated vector layers we're gonna close him off bye bye little dude and bye bye background so background's gone we need the background to be a transparent image just because it works a lot better for when you're painting it you, this is just going to be your line test for now. You can paint within Pencil 2D afterwards each frame, which might be easier for you to do, but I'm not going to show that in this tutorial. So we're going to crop him to be like so. Press Enter, and now we go back onto the layer, pull it down, and I'm going to just show you how to move him, and then I'll import the sequence that I made for the animation into pencil 2d and show you how to do that with yours so first of all you'll take your character and you'll decide how you want to move them he's cutout style animation so all animation really moves on arcs it's a good thing to get into the habit of moving it on arcs so if you're going to move him this way you kind of move him forward on an arc you can move his leg on an arc arms on an arc etc etc that's just a good thing to get in the habit of doing most it's better so even if a ball bounce boom 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 those are kind of arcs first i'm going to take we'll go down to his feet let's move his right foot and for him i selected i did the right foot his actual right foot don't ask me why i did it that way i just did so just move it up and then we're going to kind of move the left foot put move the pivot point and we're on the transformation layer like you knew in the other video. Now I'll just zoom in here. And then we're going to take the edit shapes tool. And we're going to kind of move that up. Select it till it's red. Drag. And what we can do for the pants. We'll go to the legs. Which are the pants. Kind of move his pant leg up, kind of something like that. Because if his pant leg's moving up, then we can also move these ones up because that leg kind of moved a little bit. So you can make more intricate animations with Krita this way. So you just have to save them all as each frame and go step by step like this. People say you can't at all. That's wrong. You actually can. So move it. Never say you can't. Don't live in doubt. Just try. I don't understand why people always say can't. Can't, can't, can't. It's just because no one showed them how. Well, try. Figure it out. Learn. You know what I mean? It's not that... 
I've been fooling around. It's not like I'm a professional critter person here. <laughs> I just kind of fooled around with it myself and then got used to it, right? So then we're going to move the fingers up a little bit. They're kind of scrunching in. That's how I did it in the other animation for my frames. And I'm not going to go super long with this tutorial. Obviously, I'm just going to show you how I moved him in basic format. So... I had mine him move in a bit because if he was closing his finger there's and then yeah we can let's see here okay good enough for now so it's kind of Kind of doing like that. Go over to the next hand. And here, select. Shapes tool. This one. Come on. See the anchor points though? They're really close to the knobby. It's just kind of. I'm sure there's a way to adjust it, but I haven't fooled around with it enough. Just kind of doing what I'm doing as I go. And obviously, for this, I'm not going to go into <laughs> great depth because I'm filming this and recording this. If you do want certain longer tutorials that are more like exact step by step by step by step by step by step by step, step etc. I can maybe consider doing that but right now I don't really have a lot of time to do that as I have client work so um, but let me know in the comments below kind of things you are looking for if you're a beginner to animation if you're um, not a beginner to it and I I'm a traditional animator so I do on paper but that's what I learned and uh, you'll see a lot of that stuff later from the channel so I think we kind of have some moved then maybe let's go up to the head here and Pivot. Now the hat. Now this one for some reason has multiple. Oh, there. Good. And animation is very tedious. So if you are a person that like expects everything to be instantaneous, I suggest that you probably don't do animation. You darn tootin'. Not in a mean way, just nothing in life is instant, even if you think it is now. Why would you want it to be? You want to learn practices and try. There's nothing original about it. If it's all done for you, then why would anybody want to try to do anything? Everyone should read that book, Is The Obstacle Is The Way, by Ryan Holiday. That's a fantastic book. It really teaches some stuff. You gotta work for things in life if you want them. Alright, so I'm gonna select this one. I'm going to select the arrow because this is part of the head layer. So, but look, you can still move it, which is pretty cool. Go ahead and move a bit. Yeah. Still move that up. So there's a lot you can fool around with in Krita and see what you can do. Like, it's a good program. Um, don't be shy to start trying things. You can always undo them. So there, say that's just one frame we moved. It's not going to be like a lot of movement just one frame so now you go to file save as and then I made a folder for this tutorial and for Clippy I was going to originally do 
is him. I will do him later, but we'll see. So we'll just call this one scene one. And I don't know, I've seen some people say you have to do it zero one, but you don't. You can just put scene one. It's mine word fine. So there you go. Then you're going to move it again. You're going to move it again. You're going to move it again. You can do this in JPEG format. Um, save it as JPEG or PNG. Once you've opened Pencil 2D, mine's version 0.6.6, .6, then I'll have the link in the description below. Then you go over, you go to Import, and you go to Image Sequence. Then you'll, this window will prop up. You just click Browse, and I have mine Scene 1, Scene 2, Scene 3, Scene 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's not a scene, technically. A scene is one the background changes in animation so just so you know but I just put SC1 SC2 it's fine you could just do one two three if you want to do two it doesn't and then just click and then control, hold shift like that and then click and then open them all boom and then click OK current view yeah perfect thank you very much boom now it's done Go back to the first frame oh no it's gone oh well too bad hey we can just get rid of these. That's fine. We can move these over now. Click that first one. Hold shift. Hold that. And then just drag it forward. Now it's on first frame. Then we can play it. Boom. That was the frame that I made. And then you're wondering how I finished it off and added the huh and the toot sound. Um, well, so here we find the frame where he just about lets him, right? So then what we're going to do, because that's a little fast. Like, so what we'll do is we're going to go to this frame. And what we'll do is we'll click this last frame, hold alt and move it. And then we go here. And then we're going to move this one. This one will just hold shift and move it once. If you want to separate, like if you want to skip a frame, you hold alt and it'll skip a frame. Yeah, see, it's kind of like pressing out of there. And so then you go, okay. So now you want to find for timing. Find one here. So we're going to go to this frame now. And we'll go to here and then we're going to click add a frame then we're going to find the frame where we were it just starts right yeah right there nine so number nine and then we're going to go to up here we're going to click copy go over to that empty frame control v boom there you go or edit paste same thing and then you go to the next one. Same deal. So what you can do is now where are we here? We want seven. We want eight. So now we want eight. So because it's gonna kind of go backwards, right? So we want eight. So we're gonna go first. We gotta put another frame there. And let's add another frame. Back. I'll speed this up real quick for you. If you wanted to move a little quicker, you can take out frame. So, so we wanted to move maybe a little quicker. So let's take this one out like that. Yeah, see, and you punch it up like, huh? So then you want to add the sound. You're wondering how I add the sound, so. Um, I won't put in the toot sound. I'll just put in the ha sound. Huh? So, I'm going to find where he kind of... Like there. Then you're going to go to the add layers. You go to add a new sound layer. Booyah. And then you can leave it here. What I did is I pulled it down. 
so my top frames are there. And then you're going to go to <coughs> import sound. Then I'll just add the huh. There it is. Go boom. Let's see. Huh. And then it's delayed, so we want to move it up. So let's see. Huh. And a little bit more delayed. Okay, come on. You're going to be silly now with me? Move. Thank you. Huh? Yeah, there. See? It's all about timing. Huh? There you go. It's all about timing. And then you could add another one and put the toot, et cetera, et cetera. I think I spaced mine a little bit differently when I imported all mine before for the other animation. But you just fool around with that and you'll get used to it. Um, I recommend going to help. Check your quick reference guide, go to the Pencil 2D website, check for updates, etc, etc, and uh, yeah, have fun fooling around with that, with your animations. Again, if you appreciate what I did, then give this video a like and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it, it helps out the channel huge. Um, you could buy me a coffee if you feel so inclined, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. Stay tuned for much more coming from the channel, I'm going to go rest up and have some tea. Peace.